So one one of the main things that I've seen a lot is like people were were actually I, I read a pretty interesting comment because right when it launched, I know you and I know your personality and I know how much you want to be great and I know how hard you work to be great. You're not a guy looking for handouts. I see the style and the way you carry yourself here, how much respect you have for Rampage, even though you may be stronger than him as well as the way you put in time training. So when I was reading this comment, I was like, who's his PR team? Why would he release his own statement? And I kept thinking to myself, this guy who lives in Minnesota in his mom's basement, who plays with like three cats all day, probably eats oatmeal that's two days old, is trying to criticize you on your PR game plan. Like, who told you, hey, dude, let's release this statement. Let's put this on Instagram. Let's have ESPN or UFC repost it. Like, it went viral pretty fast. Yeah, no one told me. I just knew that it was the right thing to do, just like I knew it was the right thing to alert the UFC as soon as I got information. Oh, you know? you're the one that alerted the UFC. Yeah, dude. As soon as I got information that what I was taking contained a substance I wasn't, the first thing I did was call the UFC. Wow. You called Dana or you called somebody? No, Dana? I don't have access to Dana like you, that. But what? Yeah. What do you um, mean? You don't, I, got his, you don't got Dana White's phone number? I don't think so, no. You, you, would, know, you would know if you had Dana White's number. <laughs> so you don't have Dana White's number. I might, but I don't know if it's like the same one. Like, I don't have a recent number. Do you, do you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. Do he follow you back? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dana, this man's one of your top athletes. He's a potential world champion in the next year. Oh, no, he's going to be champion. That's I what see, I'm saying. I see him fight. He's Come on, be Dana. Follow the guy back and text him as, and say, as, yo, as, we love you. As soon as Alex go to heavyweight. Now, now he's going to now he's gonna receive so many tags. But <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, Rampage can have the internet. Hey, Jackson Podcast Discord, go tag Khalil Roundtree in every Dana White video possible. <laughs> But Rampage is correct. Like, do you, do you text Dana directly or Hunter? Or who do you call you? See, how does that even uh, get so down? So I, um, I do have Jeff Nowitzki and Donna Marcolini's numbers who yeah. are the head of the UFC anti-doping. So oh, okay, okay. because it was regarding that, they're the first. I reached out to Jeff and um, he wasn't able to answer. I believe he was on a flight at the time, which I didn't know. But so I immediately called Donna right after and let her know. And uh, she was helpful and everything that I needed to do. Donna been there for a while. I think she was there when I was fighting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donna's been in the business really? for, yeah. for a long time. Yeah, I yeah. That name, she's yeah. been in the business in many different, like, uh, you know, job titles and stuff, but mm. she's been with the UFC a long time. Mm. But yeah, so, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because the lineup right now, if you look at, like, Jamal Hill has some serious injuries. You know, if the UFC says, hey, it's one more fight and then a title shot, you know, who do you think makes sense for you next? It's hard to say. Like, it's it's hard to say what makes sense. Um, here's my perspective. I understand if I have to fight someone in the top five before I fight Alex. I understand if that's the case, mm -hmm. right? And I'm prepared for that. But the fight that I'm focused on and that I want is Alex. That's the fight you want? <laughs> I want, and this is why. Why does that surprise you? This is why. Listen, I want to fight Alex because who doesn't want to see me fight Alex? You got damn right. I want to see that fight. You get wow. what I mean? Like who who doesn't want to see that happen? Whether mm. you think I'm going to win or lose, who doesn't want to see mm. it? You have two of the most explosive, Muy dangerous okay. strikers. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> In the division, and I'm not even going to be as arrogant to say in history, but I'll leave that up to the people who want to believe it. No, no, you, you, you oh damn my. good. You damn good at strike. Yo, I say, that. preach. I so that. who doesn't want to see that fight happen? Okay, that's my first kind of like reason why, why not necessarily anything else. This is why like I want that fight. I know if I have to fight someone else before, okay, but why I want that one. Now, if I were to fight someone else before I fight Alex that then throws into the hat the possibility of me losing. Now, if I lose, no one wants to see me fight Alex mm. because they're like, he doesn't stand a chance, mm. right? And then if Alex loses, like the more time we waste making that fight happen, now if he goes and loses, then it's not, it doesn't have yeah. the same effect. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> knows both it doesn't the have the same effect. Yeah, you're right. So that's why like in my mind, like that's the one that I want because of the moment, because of the, he's at his best, I'm at my best and no one can stop him. And right now it's shown that no one can stop me either. 
you know, after the past five fights. Now, yeah, later down in my history, you can go and see that I've lost some fights and okay, cool. And if anybody like wants to run that back, like, okay, cool, but let's run it back later. Right now is not the time I'm, I'm focused on what's ahead, not what's behind. 